Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my session. I hope uh, you are being well today. I'm really delighted to be on Kong Summit and sharing my experience regarding Insomnia Designer. In this uh, session, actually, uh, we are going to cover uh, collaborative API design and testing. I'll be happy uh, to answer questions throughout the presentation. Well, uh, I'm, I really love to be in teamwork and obviously Insomnia Designer helps with it a lot. I hope uh, my speech will be helping to change your perspective about API development and of course in a positive way. Uh, before we get started, uh, let me briefly introduce myself. Uh, my name is Matt. I've been working as a software developer for five years and I'm a developer who wants to learn more somehow. Generally, I built uh, numerous APIs that are running in Harmony and um, cloud providers such as um, Google Cloud, AWS. I've been getting my motivation from the community. As much as I can, I try to contribute to the open source projects because a contribution is a contribution. Additionally, I'm proud to say I'm one of the Kong champions and I truly like the Kong champion concept. Also, uh, I love to write blog posts, uh, reading books and summarizing them. If you would like to get more about me, you can check out my blogs and social media accounts. I'd like to uh, give you a brief outline of my presentation. The purpose of this session is to introduce Insomnia Designer and how can it change the development culture in the teams. To start with, uh, I'll describe some of the problems creating APIs that we, ha we have encountered and how we overcame them. I'll mention the progress in my team with Insomnia Designer. Finally, I'll summarize uh, my presentation so let's get the ball rolling. I think uh, we can agree that uh, creating an application that provides an API isn't a rocket science nowadays. There are plenty of languages with frameworks that make this issue very easy. Always uh, when you consider adding new resources or update some resources in your API, you probably just open the implementation of the application, make changes to the resource code, write some tests, and then you put your application to production. In my company, we followed this way actually. After a while, unfortunately, we encountered some issues. Uh, for instance, uh, we were supposed to validate our API implementation against the documentation. We were supposed to update our client packages manually, and we were supposed to update the documentation manually again. You can notice that there was a lot of manual steps in our development process. By end of the day, we need to change our mindset and approach. Specs first API development gave us a hand. It means that before you start changing the implementation of your API, you first design it using some standard that is human and machine readable. Since the specification is machine readable, we could validate our API implementation with tests that are being automatically generated from the specification. Our API clients and documentation are also generated automatically. With this approach, we saved, we really saved a lot of time by removing required manual steps and we made the API review process more friendly because no one had to actually go through our code just to review our API proposal. They lead me to the next point. This approach demanded some standards to describe the API. Apparently, 
uh, the solution was the open API specification. It allows you to describe your API either in JSON or YAML. There are a lot of tools that can consume open API specification to generate documentation, clients, tests, mock server, etc. This way uh, increase our productivity and we could start focusing on problems that are actually important. We had spec first API development with open API and everything was fine in technical, but we still got some problems about sharing and managing these specifications. Now, I would like to mention designing, building, and testing APIs as a team. We have faced a lot of problems, challenges, and considerations. For instance, adding a new member. Imagine that adding a new member into the team or communication obstacles, writing and publishing the documentation, and having awareness regarding the smallest change. Currently, I write APIs for our backend developers. Right now, I, I never see any front-end screens, colors, or frame form inputs. The company which I work it provides mobile and web games. We have an API team and we need to write APIs in collaboration. We use some tools and we have some approach for creating APIs. However, they are used by us for writing APIs. The first time, a tool helps us with building APIs and at the same time, building an API team. Uh, that tool is Insomnia Designer. It is an open source desktop application that can be installed on Mac Windows or GNU Linux. If I need to tell the truth, uh, it already has a great reputation as a tool for interacting with APIs like REST and GraphQL, but it has now branched out uh, into API design. Insomnia Designer uh, is a collaborative tool for creating and managing and sharing API specifications. We use that since the beginning of this summer. My aim to tell how Insomnia works for us as a team rather than explaining its technical side. Because API teams have some differences according to other software development teams. Our products are only APIs. All developers are focused on them. The keywords are relations and harmony. The first crucial thing is insomnia is helpful to share clear description um, of how to interact with the team behind our APIs. In this way, we humanize our technical relations and remove communication barriers. The second crucial thing is it's super easy to add new members in the developers uh, organization and maintain documentation. Uh, as I said at the beginning, Insomnia Designer makes our team well organized. We take advantages of some features uh, such as uh, Git Sync, um, debug and test and plugins, all of them are in one place. That's great. Uh, they help to adopt the developing workflow easily. They provide to get automation and reduce unnecessary workflow workloads in a positive, really positive way. Let's tackle Git Sync. Um, Git Sync is a collaboration and sharing of specification are made possible by Git Sync. Uh, for example, after making a uh, Reddit uh, Git repository, we can see the specification from Insomnia Designer. This way, uh, this way, the specifications can be kept, saved, and easily shared with other developers. 
uh, setting up it and making ready is straightforward with just a few clicks. Git sync might be a good solution for team workflow. We have to remember that we are supposed to be aware of the smallest change. Uh, we use it in two certain situations. First, uh, we have a new team member. If we have a new team member, and the second one is keeping specifications in safe and smoothly sharing. Last month, uh, three new developers started working on our API team. We shared API specifications by Git Sync on Insomnia Designer. And the great thing is our new developers didn't need to get any clue because they went to into the detail about APIs and they changed the specifications according to need. They just needed to commit and push development. And rest of the developers can be aware of them by Git setup immediately. The next thing I'll tell, debug and test on Insomnia. Insomnia Designer also provides API debugging abilities. Insomnia core users will already be familiar with that. Once you have created all or part of your specification, you can test it uh, whenever you want. In my department, uh, we have a test team next to the API team. Both of us feel more uh, secure and confident. Mostly the test team uses for writing unit tests by JavaScript on Insomnia Designer. So far, we couldn't make sure full automation because of some um, custom scenarios, but we struggle to do that well. Our test team can give really quick feedback and detailed specification by using debug and test sections. I can say that uh, Insomnia cuts development costs day by day, um, our cost. And we really, uh, we, we really feel in comfortable in this way. Also, uh, there is a CLI tool uh, for testing called Inso. I really uh, want to mention about this. This is important because that can bring automation easier. It has been designed to run in a continuous integration environment and providing exit codes to pass or fail. The CI workflow, uh, I mean the continuous integration workflow accordingly. This month, we started using uh, GitHub Actions and we needed to get automation API tests somehow. This example demonstrates a workflow run in GitHub Actions. It will check out install Node.js install INSO, run linting, and run unit tests. Lastly, generate configuration. Uh, this uh, configuration uh, represents the con declarative configuration, configuration. If any of these steps fail, the GitHub workflow will as well. Uh, last but not the less, I'm going to mention about plugin system. For most of the use cases, the main features of Insomnia are good enough for us. However, for, for certain things like custom authentication or complex workflows, the plugin system uh, might be required, really required. Unfortunately, uh, we currently don't have any project in which we could use the plugins productively. But I know uh, we will face a challenge to prefer to plugins one day. Um, I just, yeah, I just wanted to you be aware of it because we can write our plugins according to need. Uh, yes, this is great. And this brings me uh, to the end of the, my presentation. I've talked about Insomnia Designer focuses on the collaborative development of APIs. The built-in 
get functionality allows you to version and share your specifications quickly and easily and in keep safe. I drastically recommend anyone who is considering to use OpenAPI or already uses it but hasn't found a suitable development platform yet to test the program themselves. So thank you for having me and listening to me. It was a pleasure being here today. I hope that my presentation today will help and bring a new perspective somehow.